percentage turnout was 69.85. I do therefore declare that Craig, Craig McKinley is duly elected as Member of Parliament for South Thanet constituency. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to start by thanking my wife Cotty for her constant support and also my parents who've always been there in the background Tony, supporting. Tony, Tony. But I think we all ought to thank uh, my predecessor, Laura Sands, who's not only been a source of strength for me, she's served our community for years with great dedication. I'd like to thank my campaign team and the many volunteers from, you know, from nearby and further afield who have given their time to make this result possible here. I'd like to thank the police and the returning officer and all of the staff and for the efficiency of the election here in South Thanet. But of course the people I would most like to thank are the voters of South Thanet for putting their trust in me and electing me as their Member of Parliament. And since I was selected as the Conservative candidate for South Thanet, I've campaigned on local issues and national issues, and I've always sought to offer local people an, an optimistic and positive vision for our community. And as your MP, I want to continue in precisely that vein. And so on to Manston Airport, I will work with Thanet District Council, with Sir Roger Gale, and with ministers in the Department of Transport to get Manston reopened as a working airport. <laughs> I will work with local businesses and central government to get my plan to regenerate Ramsgate up and running. I will fight against overdevelopment and inappropriate new housing. I'll work to sort out the traffic problems in Sandwich and I will always defend the vitally important services that we have at the QEQM. And when it comes to national issues, it is very clear that the people of South Thanet, they've voted to stick to the plan that is delivering a recovering economy. More well-paid jobs, more apprenticeships and tax cuts for working families. Because it's only with a strong economy that we can have a strong NHS, better schools and help for families and childcare. This is what the people in South Thanet have voted for. And that is what this Conservative government will carry on delivering. Everyone of course knows that the election here in South Thanet has been far from a typical constituency campaign. It was here that the ground was supposed to shake, as we were struck by a political earthquake, with Nigel standing at its epicentre. But the people of South Thanet have made that this country has uh, not experienced an earthquake nor even a minor tremor. They've decided they don't just want an MP who will protest angrily from the sidelines. They want an MP and a strong government that will get things done for them. So the message from South Thanet to the rest of the country is very loud and clear. The Conservative Party is working for people. We have a plan that is delivering an economic recovery. We're rewarding work and helping people on the lowest incomes. We have a positive vision for the future of our country. We're not just protesting, but getting things done. And because of all these things, just as I realised some time ago in my own political journey, people here have shown that there's no need for no Nigel Farage and there is no need for UKIP. Thank you very much, the voters of South Thanet. The definition of whether you're having a good day or a bad day, um, and many of you may think I'm having a bad day, but let me tell you, five years ago, on election day, I was in intensive care after an aeroplane crash, so compared to that, this feels pretty damn good. I do congratulate. I do, I do congratulate the Prime Minister. Uh, he has secured a Tory majority, something that nobody thought was possible. And there was an earthquake in this election, and it happened north of the border. It happened in Scotland. And I think what you saw were a lot of voters so scared 
of that Labour SNP coalition that they shifted towards the Conservatives. And that included some of the people here who voted UKIP last time round. But I saw another shift in this election, and I saw UKIP, the party, apparently, for, for the retired old colonels, suddenly is the party for people under 30, particularly young working women. There is a big change going on in politics. And I think what's really interesting, I think what's really interesting, we've always been here to believe that Britain needs to get back its democracy. We shouldn't be governed from Brussels. But what is interesting is what's happening within our, our democracy in this country. We've got a party in Britain who got 50% of the vote in one of the regions and nearly 100% of the seats. And we've got another party that scored nearly as many votes, 4 million, as won us the European elections last year, that has finished up with one seat in Parliament. And I think the time has come for real, genuine, radical political reform, and it's UKIP that will be the party that leads it. On a personal level, on a professional level, I express today a degree of disappointment. On a personal level, I feel an enormous weight has been lifted from my shoulders. I've never felt happier. Thank you. disappointed that one of my opponents didn't even have the respect to stay and listen to his fellow candidates. And actually I wanted to stand here and just talk positively about the campaign, but I feel after that I do have to point out that this is a man that hasn't attended a single public custody during this, who won't debate with his fellow candidates. So I think the result has shown that you can't stage manage your way to victory like Nigel Farage did. I congratulate Craig on a campaign very well fought. We've been here at the Winter Gardens for about 12 hours now, but I just want to speak of how proud I am to be standing here because I stood for the seat where I've lived my entire life. I'm so proud to be able to put myself forward and I'm grateful to the over 11,000 people that voted for me. But I'm also incredibly grateful for all the people that helped to get me here. My family, my wife, my amazing wife and kids, you guys have been my absolute rock. And to my team, I can see you all in the audience, who have been part of the We have been ripping off in this campaign more times than I care to remember. And we have managed to make sure that we took this fight for the last few weeks. And I'm incredibly proud of every single one of you. I'm very grateful for all the support you've given. This is just the beginning of a revival of Labour in Canada. And I look forward to working with all of you to make sure that Labour are here to stay in South Thank you very much.